the touchdowns more times than not? Um, I owe it all to my old line. You know, I mean, we needed some big plays and some critical moments. You know, the old line, they blocked really good, and I was just able to make a play. What <clears throat> The Fulton defense has obviously got a reputation, especially its linebackers. Did it live up to the to the hype? I mean, how, how physical of a game was that tonight? Oh, it was very physical. They have a great set of linebackers. They have a great linebacker core. Uh, you know, they have a great defense. They had a good they had a good game plan, and you know, they executed. They did a good job. They had a chance. T. Hodges' night tonight was just fantastic as far as making the big plays on fourth and one, yep. taking in for 12 yards, and then in the fourth quarter. Yeah. T was huge tonight, and I, you know, going into it, we thought he had a chance to have a big game. Him and Bryson both, really. Uh, if we could get some movement up front, you know, I thought there's a chance for him to bust a couple, you know, because they, they, those guys are so good. A lot of times they bring some pressure, and so if you guess right and and, and, and cave them down, you'll have a chance to hit one. He had a huge night, though. Really proud of him and the offensive line second half for cutting it out. We were good enough on the offensive line to score those last three drives and just didn't convert, you know, in the backfield. And again, like I told our guys. Right after the game, it's on me. You know, we we've got to be better. Uh, we're nowhere near where we want to be. If you know, if we expect to, to win games late in the season, and uh, I'm I'm really excited to practice Monday. I'll be honest. Four touchdowns, Rob. That, that first quarter was just from a viewer standpoint. It's fun to watch. A lot of touchdowns going back and forth. What did that do as far as inspiring confidence in your guys that they could stick around for four quarters with Maribel? Yeah, you know, and that's the thing we hadn't been able to do is playing for four quarters the past couple of years, you know, and I thought we did that tonight. I thought we competed awfully well. And, you know, I think that did give us confidence, you know, being able to put a couple on the board early on like that. And, you know, we went in at halftime, and the last thing we said before we came out was, you know, we're down 14 points, and we gave them 14 on turnovers, you know, and you look at the final score, and it's 35 to 20, you know. So a couple turnovers hurt us, but uh, – uh, I thought our guys got after it pretty hard tonight. Third quarter, they come out, and, you know, your guys score, put together a really nice drive. Xavier's yeah. kind of dissecting the defense, and you guys get in there. A couple more chances, though, late. When you go back and look at the film, what do you think you're going to see on those late chances that kind of went awry for Yeah, I, you know, I think the big thing I'm going to see is, is there was a couple of key plays that we didn't make stops on defense and a couple of key plays that we didn't convert on offense. And uh, You know, it's funny you get in games like this sometimes, and, you know, after you go back and watch the film, you can probably count them up, and there's probably five or six plays that made a difference in this ball game. You know, and, but hats off to Merrillville. You know, they don't do a whole lot to beat themselves. You gotta, you gotta take it to them. And again, I thought we did that tonight. We just didn't make enough. Rob Kwan.